All right, next we are going to starfish. And this is Fimo Pearl. When it's baked, it kind of, it changes color. And, you know, like the more you need little pieces together, the more it gives a, uh, like quartz rock look to it. It has like little layers to it. I like it because it kind of changes color, becomes a little translucent so that I can tell when it's actually kind of done. Um, each type of Fimo or Sculpty clay has their own specific um, amount heat temperature to bake it at. So I try to keep, I'm not a FEMO lover, but when I started to, um, I, I have a background in pottery, and so this kind of goes against, every, in a way, everything I learned, and it can just be a pain to me, because the warmer it gets, the mushier it gets. The more your hands touch it and so it can be problematic um, because you got to get it a little soft to be able to work with it so I think it's like 175 or something like that 15 minutes for every quarter inch of thickness I try to just make the arms first I can tell I need just a little bit more on that one And it just affords you the ability to um, make it whatever size you want. And essentially, I mean, all I did was make a slab piece, poke a hole through it for a buttonhole <clears throat> on the back so that it can be sewn on. Okay, and then I just kind of stick them all together like that. Okay, and then you just kind of pinch and close all your gaps and pick it up. Okay. Pinch. Um, I also will kind of trying to make them a little longer. Uh, kind of arch one, push it so that it arches, and then pull this so that it will. hook over the top of this buoy. Um, it's just, to me, a cute look. To have it look like it's a little more naturally on there. And I just take this, kind of roll, push things, and, you know, it's going to take a few minutes to Get it the way you want it. Um, I don't, I don't really worry about kind of the smoothness of it or how pristine it is because I'm not leaving it like this. Um, I definitely try to get all the seams pinched together, like on the back here. I'm going to pull, I want it all to kind of meld together, okay? Dog hair or something stuck in it. Okay. 
Okay. So that's sort of the, and the, again, you really have to pay attention to the size because I didn't have a sample of the buoy. And one night I sat down and I made all of these and they're giants. So you definitely have to have what you're working with with you. So you make sure to keep it within, you know, I like these, but they're just way too big. Uh, you know, it looks like the starfish that ate the lobster trap and the buoys when you put it on. So then to do the little hole on the back, just cut. piece off like so. Flip that over. If it starts getting too warm and mushy, um, just don't touch it for a few minutes. Walk away from it. Come back to it. Okay. Trying to make it skinnier. Okay. Like that. Stick it on there like that. And push it, push it. Of course, I'm kind of undoing some things on the front, so I will have to go back and smooth and shape a little. And once I kind of get it, all this is kind of hidden. Uh, in the netting and things, so I'm really just not that worried about it being a pristine, perfectly shaped, and you know, so it, I don't mind if it's a little primitive as long as the hole is nice and even and big. Okay, so there's that. You can also sand this if there are any large areas that you didn't get smooth enough. Okay, so here is this. It's just going to go on a piece of aluminum foil in the oven until it's baked. Um, this is hmm, barely a quarter of an inch. So, um, it's only 15 minutes. Make sure to set your timer uh, because it will become brittle and break if you overbake it. Okay, so once it's baked and it comes out, hmm, where's my plate? Put rid of all this good stuff. Bring over paint. Now, obviously, I've already started this one. I just use the acrylic, but what I'm doing right now is um, I do, I prime it. And since I hadn't primed the back side of this yet, oh yeah, I don't want my tiny brush. I want the bigger brush. And just come in. Doesn't have to be a uh, overwhelmingly beautiful coat of white. Um, because we're going to put tans and browns and other colors over it on the. Uh, I'm doing the round top one, uh, lobster trap, and I did very muted colors. But on the square top one, I jazzed it up and I made a orange starfish that went on it. Okay, I'm going to grab a tan that I have used in the past. 
Okay, that needs to dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made all of these little bumps on the front. And what I did is I have this um, titanium white. It's a heavy body um, acrylic paint tube paint. And okay, so well, just shows you how long I had to pause this. So, to get texture on these. I take heavy body, which can be a little too heavy, and I mix it with just a skosh of the regular, so it thins it just a little, which you'd think medium would be okay, but it doesn't. The medium body kind that you can buy. And then all you do is get a big dollop on there and go boop. And let's see, can we get, yeah, you can see that. And it's leaving little dots. All over it so we can make peaks and valleys. All right, now that I can flip this over, I can see that this one did not get them all the way to the end because I must have been holding it. Big dollop. I'm not trying to get perfect little dots. I want it to look kind of flawed. Not flawed. Symmetrical, non symmetrical dots. They all turn out a little different no matter how hard I try. Now. Okay. All right. We're 
um, that's a very gloss heavy coat paint and I'm going to take the darker and kind of put it around the bottom Take the lighter, I'm going to put a little up here, and then basically we're going to wipe it all off. Yeah, ooh, I kind of get myself all all over myself when I do most projects. Okay. Alright. And that's it. Boom. Done. Nothing fancy. Nothing exciting. Easy paint technique. If you want more depth to it, you can do another layer of color, you can, whatever you want to do. Just kind of wipe some of that off. So, still has that mottled look to it. off a little bit of the white paint, but no one will see the back side, so. And that is how we make the starfish.